big teeth and its claws and its tusks, but it's also big. Ah, oh, why, hello there, and welcome to another episode of Monster Month and Monster Reviews. So it's our penultimate one, and for this one I am reviewing The Relic. Yes, The Relic from 1997, a full-on monster feature, where a archaeologist or something goes to this tribe and drinks this formula stuff, that turns him into this messed up mutated monster and then runs amok around the History Museum whilst the detectives are trying to find out what's going on for these strange disappearances of people and killings. And we find that this monster is none of a responsible for the mayhem. Um, and, you know, yeah. So what did I like about this one? Well, I liked that this film was, you know, well, first of all, I don't like that this film is very underrated. It's very underrated and very unappreciated and has gone on to become a forgotten gem in the horror genre, I feel. I don't feel enough people talk about this one because it is a good film and the effects are good for its time. I mean, not all the visual effects hold up to this day now, given that, you know, technology's come a long way since 1997, but... Uh, I feel that, you know, this film definitely deserves some more recognition. I'm surprised it hasn't become a cult hit. But, yeah, I, I like the performances in this. And I like the monster as well. I like that whole thing where they do that whole less is more thing first. Allowing us to use our imaginations before they reveal the full monster which we see in the film. And I, you know, like the design of the monster. Very alien like creature with its big teeth and its claws and its tusks but it's also big monstrous feature i should warn you as well if you love animals like doggies dogs do die in this so just a word of warning for you dog lovers because i know it's like when people see a human killed in a horror they're like mm. but when they see a dog like oh so just a word of warning there for you dog lovers um, excuse me. Anyhow, other things I liked about this film. I enjoyed the, uh, you know, the, just the, you know, the monstrous tombs. Of course, there are negatives, like, during, like, the night scenes when the monster sabotages the power and it's dark. Sometimes you can't quite see what's going on in there and it's hard to see. And those are moments where I feel it's too dark and it kind of lets it down for me. But, an entertaining film. It's a monster flick at the end of the day. Nothing to take too seriously. Just watch it with an open mind. Don't go expecting too much of a fun film. But it is an okay film. Very nightmare fuel for young kiddies, I might say. But anyway, The Relic. Uh, it's it's just yeah I find it's worth a watch. You know, feel free to check it out. So my ratings. What am I going to rate this? I think I will give the relic. I'll give it three monster teeth out of five. Three monster teeth out of five for the relic. So there you go. There's your review for this one, and it's up an ultimate ever one. But we one more left now before our. Before this Monster Month show ends for good. But, hey, it's a fun one, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, I will see you next time for our last ever Monster Review. And until next time, don't have nightmares.